A groom is recovering both physically and emotionally after losing his bride the night of their wedding in a crash on Folly Beach. And as he does so, he's now suing the driver accused of drunkenly crashing into their golf cart not even three weeks ago. Cameron Bopp joining us now from the first alert desk. Cameron, the bar is accused of serving that driver also named in this lawsuit. Well, Ann Roth, the groom, Eric Hutchinson, alleges in the complaint that the driver, Jamie Komorowski, had a, quote, booze-filled day of bar hopping, and the businesses she went to had an obligation to not overserve her. Now, the night of the April 28th crash, Komorowski denied a field sobriety test, but a toxicology report from state police shows her blood alcohol level was at 0.261%, more than three times the legal limit in our state. She's currently charged with one count of reckless homicide and three counts of DUI causing serious bodily injury or death. It was supposed to be the happiest night of Hutchinson's life. He had just married 34 year old Samantha Miller, who you see right there. The pair, along with a friend and a child, were on a street legal golf cart when police say Komorowski slammed into them going 65 miles per hour. Miller died while still wearing her wedding dress. The family now seeking justice and answers. They do want answers. They, they do want um, the closure of understanding what happened. Why did it happen? If this stops, you know, one person from getting in their car while intoxicated or helps someone have the courage to step up and stop that from happening or helps an establishment really take a hard stand on over serving people, you know, that's something positive that can come out of, out of this. Now, in addition to Komorowski, the complaint names the establishments Snapper Jacks, the Drop-In Bar in Delhi, the Crab Shack, El Gallo Bar and Grill, and Taco Boy. Now, a representative with Taco Boy says Komorowski did not set foot in their establishment that night. They tell us they determined that by reviewing 16 hours of video footage, interviewing all employees working that night, and reviewing all sales receipts. The other establishments listed in the suit have not yet responded to a request for comment. At the Alert Desk, Cameron Bopp, Live 5 News.